Welcome back to web2.0.tv. I'm Thomas Tucker and I'm here with David Therian from Keller Williams. David, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule today. I know you had to fly here real quick and uh, that you've got to run other places today, but thank you for taking time out of your schedule to visit it's, with me. It's my pleasure. Awesome. Well, what we're doing is we're talking about Web 2.0 a little bit here. Very excited to have Keller Williams come out and speak with us. Um, how would you define Web 2.0 as it pertains to your marketplace and how has it changed your marketplace kind of over the last 12 to 18 months or so? Well, for Keller Williams, we're an agent-centric organization. Mm -hmm. Everything that we do is about the agent. We, we look at building businesses and education and, and consulting. And, and so the web for us is a significant major tool to use in that process. Excellent. And over the last 12 to 18 months, we have refocused our efforts so that everything that we're doing is web-based. Um, and our plans are to exponentiate that into the future. We're, we're not holding back. Wow. So, so you, you plan to continue on that path? Absolutely. What are some of the things that you've done to help uh, establish that connection with, between you know, corporate and your agents and, and facilitate that feedback loop? Well, markets differ uh, throughout the country. Mm -hmm. And th therefore, your tools differ. And, and some you need to significantly um, focus on, others you don't. Right. And that will change. Uh, depending on your market. So what we have to do is build our tools that they use so that they're tailorable, mm -hmm. so that you can emphasize some areas and not others. Right. Uh, and that's on the agent side. On the consumer side, it's all about the interaction and the relationship. Absolutely. And supplying the consumer what they're looking for uh, in the way of information and flexibility and, and gathering information mm -hmm. so that, that web experience becomes critical. Uh, to their interaction with the agent. Absolutely. What are some of those tools that you're providing your uh, real estate agents today that are Web 2.0 focused? Well, probably the most significant tool is on the buyer side to allow the consumer to search information about the homes that are for sale right. uh, in their market area or their area of interest. And so uh, we have a very strong uh, internet data exchange system mm. that we've rolled out that is a great tool for the consumer to uh, get access to all the multiple listed homes that are available. Amazing. Uh, on the seller side, uh, marketing a seller's listing, uh, their home for sale, right. is the paramount focus of a listing agent. And so we, we have looked at taking all of our listings and uh, push those out to the different platforms mm -hmm. to get more exposure for uh, the property that's for sale Absolutely. on our clients' behalf. Absolutely, more exposure the better. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. so, so being able to get that information out there on the web on multiple different platforms, mm -hmm. uh, different environments, all affiliated together, has been a huge undertaking, and, and we put together the Keller Williams listing system to do that. Excellent. And so we're out there on AOL, with Cyber Homes, Trulia, Google Base, a number of different platforms. Syndicating as many places as you can. Absolutely. That's Absolutely. key. How, what kind of hiccups or, or issues are you seeing uh, with trying to streamline the communication process, not only between corporate and, and, your, and your agents, but also between the end consumer, right, the potential home buyer and the agent. Uh, you know, with these new social networking uh, networks popping up, the communication is very fluidic. It's, it's right. Sometimes it's hard to keep track of. And so there's, you know, there's some communication loss, but what kind of rule sets have you had to put into place to make sure that the, that, that communication is well structured? Well, you look at the hardware that the consumer is using and that and obviously that we're using, and the pipeline is always the issue. Mm -hmm. you know, Absolutely. And so that's a major concern. What, what do you build your systems uh, to be able to push and, and uh, handle? Uh, certainly if you get too crowded and, and things back up, the experience will degrade. That's not a good thing. Not a great thing. No. Um, so, so hardware has always been an issue. Now, today with the computers that are coming out, laptops, mm -hmm. tower systems, the, the hardware is generally there to support uh, everything that we're doing. Absolutely. Uh, so now that the issue becomes, can we take all the systems that are out there, network them together into some streamlined tools mm -hmm. that the consumer can use without interruption, without uh, uh, any wow. impediments, and make that experience a positive one for them. That's that's really been where the challenges lie. Wow. Uh, some of the systems out there are obviously antiquated, and, and others are, are cutting edge. So it's been a challenge to mix all that together and come out with a very smooth operating 
system for the consumer. I would imagine. I mean, especially with graphic heavy uh, presentations, especially like home searches uh, with floor plan information, with house pictures and all that information, naturally the pipe's going to get a little bit flooded. Uh, so it's a little bit harder to customize that user experience and make right. it work uh, most efficiently. But has your approach been generally to develop for the technology as it is today and make sure that it's streamlined for bandwidth available today and processors? Or are you not worrying about that and just developing the best consumer experience you can and worrying about everything catching up later? Kind of like the game industry does. No, um, we have to build for today. The things that we deliver for the agents have got to be usable today. The consumers have got to be able to use them Absolutely. today. Absolutely. But by the same token, whatever baseline you set has got to be able to be built upon for tomorrow's initiatives Agreed. and whatever systems are going to be delivered. And so your system has to be flexible enough to handle what we're dealing with today, but then uh, be the platform for tomorrow. Absolutely. Well, one of the things that we keep talking about with Web 2.0 kind of uh, mentality is empowering the end user to really use the tools the way that they want to, uh, to right. give them a voice. And so you're, def you're very much empowering your real estate agents with this technology to help utilize your tool set to, to help them sell homes. Right. And then of course, for the end consumer to sell their homes or potentially find a home, right, to purchase. but. What are you do, uh, planning to do over the next 12 months or so to make sure that you're very efficiently paying attention to those needs of the user, paying attention to the feedback that they're giving and letting them voice their concerns uh, on improvements to the tools that you've created to make sure that you have the best offering for them? Well, the consumer looks for access to information. Absolutely. And, and they dictate the interaction that they want to have with the agent. Mm -hmm. Uh, many consumers want to have access, they're not ready to be in a relationship with an agent or a mortgage lender, whomever. Right, right. And so, it's a tenuous uh, process. Yeah, and so you've got to, to make that, avail that information available to them in, at the level of interaction that they're looking for. Uh, then when you go beyond that and you look at interacting with the consumer, you have to be there in the format that they want to be communicated with. In other words, right. um, in my generation it was the phone. I mean, that's what we yeah. felt comfortable with. Today it's not. It's no. text messaging, uh, it's email, those types of formats. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you look at the different platforms, the online social communities that we're seeing. Uh, I've got a 15-year-old son, and, and he loves the gaming world. Nice. And, and so I've had to actually get into the gaming world with him to be involved in his environment. To be able to relate, right. Absolutely. And so we're text messaging and, and now we're doing a voice chat online with each other as we're questing and right. it's a wild experience. And I'm looking at it thinking, you know, we can buy groceries online, we can work online, Order and now pizza. we can socialize online. That's amazing. Why do we have to go out of the house? You know, well, I mean, especially in the home sales industry, uh, the transfer of confidence between the agent and between the buyer is one of the most key factors. You know, you want to have that transfer of confidence, you want to have that level of trust. So. How much of a, of a loss do you see generally between a consumer or, or a potential home buyer who contacts an agent and expresses interest uh, between them getting and actually having a tactile you know, connection with the agent? Like, is, is there a drop off there in like they request to meet the agent and then don't show up? Or, you know, I imagine there's a conversion issue there. What no. are you doing to, to Well, help when you that? talk about that type of interaction, uh, you know, yesterday we used to meet in the office. Yeah. And it was a handshake, a hello. It was a, a warm meeting. Now we're meeting online, that warmth is not there. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a longer distance process okay. to develop a relationship. And, and that's why I say a lot of it is driven by the consumer as to when they're ready to talk with you. Mm -hmm. uh, so your image, your information that you provide become a significant piece of what the consumer looks at Absolutely. to evaluate you as a potential uh, connection for them whether they want to talk to you or not. Mm -hmm. And so I think your your presentation, uh, your access, the flow of your tools, mm -hmm. um, all start the process of developing that relationship. Well, David from Keller Williams teaching us a good lesson that your message has to be very well crafted to transfer that trust. David, thank you so much for visiting with us thank today. Thank you, it's been my pleasure. We'll be right back with Web2.0.tv.